Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Alfredo, um, and I'm running the DLC campaign for Fire and Free Houses, which is the Cinder Shadows slash Ashen Wolves campaign. So, uh, just get this um, going a little bit. Uh, so, we're playing on casual mode, by the way, because it's actually faster to play on casual mode. It's one of the few Fire Emblem categories where casual mode is fastest. Usually we play on classic. Uh, what gender one? The bit ball, by the way. Bringing that up, and it looks like drum roll in my head. It looks like uh, we are running as the male character. All right. Uh, male is situationally faster. So see if that comes up. And uh, what name are we going to name him? Well, it did end up as a tie. So we have to choose between I'm Peter and Yas Queen. <laughs> so how would you like to decide? <laughs> How about a coin flip? I am always a fan uh, of a coin flip. Yeah, so I guess uh, Peter will be heads and uh, Tails will be Yas Queen. That would be pretty funny if it lands on Tails, but yeah. Oh, it's Tails. Awesome. <laughs> yes! Oh, sorry. Yas! <laughs> so wait, how's it spelled? Is it like... <laughs> it's, it's a, it is with one S. Yas oh, and Queen are individually capitalized. <laughs> so yeah, capital Y-A-S, capital Q-U-E-E-N. Wait, wait, wait. So it's the first three, like, capitals? Uh, no, just just the Y. Okay. And it's Q capital? Correct. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> can, can we continue to get yeah. some questions in chat for this? Because I am 100% yeah, I'm, I'm screenshotting that. This. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll start the run in three, two, one, and go. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so the Cinder Shadows campaign follows um, mainly the Ash and Wolves house, but we actually have accidentally like stumbled into their base. So now they're going to be forced to defend it after all these series of cutscenes, just introducing them. God, this is an amazing name. <laughs> I do have to do a safety save after this first menu when I have to order, organize my abilities and all that. Mainly because there's like a 2% chance that I'll miss my first combat initiation. And that first combat initiation is actually really important. So I, I really need to make sure I safety save. <laughs> uh, okay. Not used to seeing uh, Yas Queen. <laughs> Right? What's the name? <laughs> uh, just make sure all my, all my settings are proper and then buy two civil lances for Dimitri and one for Claude. And then, uh, need a safety oh. Uh, where's my safety sail? Oh no! Uh... Oh, there it is. I was just like, where, where is the save button over there? Give it my all. I totally saw it. Have I played menu. this game? Not, not in a while. Not using that menu. So we're going to use Dimitri here to use the assault troop. Luckily, we hit. So thank goodness. <laughs> so yeah. So the Ashen Wolves themselves, Balthus, Happy, uh, Constance, and uh, Yuri, are right now defending their base from us. Uh, they don't know where actually on their side, so this uh, confrontation has come from a, a bigger misunderstanding. And right now I'm trying to advance everyone forward, but Dimitri will be like my main carry here. Uh, Dimitri just has a lot of movement thanks to being on a horse, and also uh, being having generally good stats all around. And so we took out Balthus first, and he's like a, uh, he uses his fist to fight. And now we're going to take out Happy, who uses long-range magic. She's also 
gun squeeze. Oh, that's a good level, by the way. <laughs> so it's kind of important for both Claude and Dimitri to gain uh, strength in their level ups, as well as dexterity, so they hit stuff. Uh, dexterity, dexterity is like your accuracy stat. Uh, also, what I also did in the earlier menu is I got rid of an Iron Lance and I equipped it the um, Silver Lance with the least uses in order to. Uh... Oops. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! That, did he. Did he need another heal? I suppose so, you did. Uh... So, we're able to easily take out a lot of the Ashen Wolves. But the hardest Ashen Wolf is um, the final one, which is, happens to be the leader. leader. Uh, his name is Yuri. And I need to use Tempest Lance, which is less accurate. Thank goodness. Okay, so Yuri is usually what I call the final boss of the game. <laughs> He's actually really difficult to deal with. He has Pavis, which... Uh, if it, if it activates, it halves your damage onto him, which means he'll survive a hit, and which we don't want that to activate. Uh, also, another thing is that he also has an ability called Lucky 7. And what Lucky 7 does is that any one of his stats, depending on what turn it's on, can increase by 5. And if it happens to fall on defense by the time we're attacking him, that means he's impossible to defeat. <laughs> That's usually a run ender if you're um, going for like a seriously good time. But uh, otherwise, there's like a safety strat where you have to wait a turn and then th the stat won't fall onto uh, the fence. It'll just fall on another stat. That's a casually yeah. terrifying boss five minutes in. <laughs> I know. And it's like the main, technically, the main protagonist of this campaign. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so now that we're accepted into their ranks, we're doing like a little recon mission for them. And uh, investigating the area around. Basically, Abyss, which is their home base, is underground and uh, not known to the denizens of the, mo uh, of the monastery above. I'll cut through. So hopefully... Uh, oh, oh goodness, this is not good. <laughs> I uh, had to use this. This is really inaccurate. Wow. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> so, ideally, I wanted to use Silver Lance there, but uh, I had only one use of that left. So, that ended up working out. Also, yes, I am controlling the um, Chibi Pixel on the loading screen. You control it by motion controls, and you can also uh, make the character jump as well by pressing the B button. So it's just a fun thing to do while you wait. Unfortunately, I didn't get um, the strength uh, low up on Balfus. That is really important for Chapter 5. But it's not a big deal if I miss it. Dimitri is actually getting uh, semi-decent level ups. Claude is actually really good though. He's, he's, he's fine. <laughs> Are the stat level ups completely random, or can you like force them in a certain way? Uh, they have certain grows, so depending on what class they are in. Ah, uh, Claude should have a slightly like higher. Uh, I think that's no, I think that's ending my turn. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking like, should I go move on? No, I didn't sign. Uh, that archer didn't die though, but that's fine. But yeah, so this this mission is a route mission, so that means I have to take out every enemy on the map. Which is kind of hard, because they can't come out in waves. And if like an enemy doesn't die when they're supposed to die, that can like cause a lot of like things to go out of sync. And that's not particularly great. I need to also move uh, Barlaf in position here, or Yas Queen in position. <laughs> All right. This is. Awkward. I'm just gonna make sure. Oh yeah. So this enemy here, the Valkyrie. Ready and willing. <laughs> okay, I missed a very important hit there. The Valkyrie needs to die. 
There we go. You can possibly gain only one stat. Yeah, that that's always possible. A bit worried about Dimitri, but he should be okay. I'm at my limit. That's not okay. Um. I need to stay in range with that guy, so he can... <laughs> it's complicated, but yeah, I need to stay in range. So that um, the enemy spawns at the right time. Oh, I didn't draw the path correctly, That's, that might be bad. So, pathing is actually really important. Believe it or not, when you draw the... Uh, character, we draw the movement where the characters are going to move. So I wasted like two spaces there, so I can only move like Another. not as close to the combat as I want to with Dimitri. Right. Although that may not be particularly a bad thing because he is on low HP. But not ideal. Because I do want him to gain a little bit more experience. Because we are playing on casual mode. Uh, I don't have to worry about death too much unless it's a major character, like, uh, oh my god. Ah. Okay, so the Death Knight is moving. Uh, I can hopefully do this. Okay, there, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, it becomes defeat every enemy but the Death Knight. But yeah, if so on casual mode, I don't have to worry about people dying to the Death Knight like Ash over there did, or um, Blinhart. Uh, they'll come back the next mission, which is why casual mode is really nice. And also the mission um, failures are also less stricter. So usually in when you're playing the game on classic mode in comparison to uh, casual mode, you have stricter conditions to keep the Ashen Wolves alive. Like they must all be alive. Like, um, I wouldn't be able to do the strat where I'm allowed to sack uh, Constance and Happy earlier because they got taken out pretty early in Chapter 2. I wouldn't be out allowed to do that in Classic mode. So also here, uh, for some reason, you can't go into the menu until you go... Um, uh, you can't go into the next chapter menu until the doors open. So we just kind of avoid that by pressing, going into the, our own menu there and then, yeah, being able to uh, press the L button to go to the next chapter. Th there's a lot to explain, yeah. <laughs> Awful lot. <laughs> That's just one of those, just, just it is what it is. Yeah, it's very Don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, people are allowed to ask questions. It's just oh, there's 100%. a lot going on, yeah. <laughs> So for this particular mission, there's like a key that we need to grab. Uh, I forgot what the context is, but uh, basically we need to open a path that will help us... Act. Did that get hit? Yeah, it did. Okay, I was just checking. So we need to take out this golem that is holding the spell rate key. And we need to have it land on, uh, have it on cord, ideally. Because what we're going to do is we're going to basically ferry cord to the bottom right corner. Uh, the bottom right corner will always be where, uh, it'll, it'll be the correct lever to open stuff with. And, uh, Dimitri with, uh, Retribution, which is, um, Ash's Battalion, will, uh, deal damage to the Golem. So right now the, go the Golem is a monster and it's on its final HP bar. So we dealt enough damage to deal with it. And now we had Constance assist us. And then we're able to switch places for Constance thanks to Yuri's foul play ability. Uh, yeah, foul play allows us to switch places with another unit. And the idea is we're going to ferry cord down to where we need to go. So yeah, we're going to use a lot of foul play here, basically. Cord is getting some really good stats here. Hmm. 
Now, being in like the the forest or shrub area, can enemies see you in there, or is it mostly just? Oh, like, they cosmetic? can. They can, but they'll be more likely to miss because you have an evasion oh. buff in the forest. Uh, unless you're a flying unit like Claw, Claw can't avoid uh, as much unless he's uh, not mounted on his uh, wyvern. But uh, also, yeah, you may have noticed Yuri's movement was decreased. So if you're on foot, your movement's also decreased in the forest because they decrease it unless you're a thief. For some reason, that doesn't apply to tricksters, which is Yuri's class. Oh, uh, that, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So we kind of got in a bit of trouble here, and now we have to escape using it, um, a previous map. And it's kind of cool, because uh, it's actually the Chapter 1 map, but we're going in a little bit of reverse. Uh, I'm actually going to replenish Battalion, so it's actually really nice. Uh, going to get rid of everyone but Yast Queen and Dimitri. And then I'm going to steal uh, Yuri's Fetus of Dromas, uh, which is his... Uh... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, and then I'm going to forge uh, both Dimitri and Claude's steel weapons. Stay focused. But yeah, Fetus of Dromi allows us, for the... allows us to move like a... like a horseback unit would with Kanto. So if you have movement left over, you're allowed to move those extra spots if you haven't used it all after you've done them. Done them like a significant move, like a combat move. Dimitri's got like no strength and that's really bad. But yeah, right now we're escaping. Uh, so that golem at the back there, it's going to be pursuing us for the entire map. And uh, it'll do pretty much fail damage to anyone. So yeah, you, you, you don't want to be in range of that. And we've decreased the amount of... So we've only had have Dimitri and uh, and uh, main character... Well, no, not main character, but um, Yas Queen here because it allows us to move efficiently throughout the map while also not having to, I guess, worry about uh, other units. As, um, you know, if you don't deploy any other units, you don't have to worry about them. So... Having only two people to worry about is much better than worrying about a whole army of people, basically. <laughs> so yeah, once we get past that uh, checkpoint, uh, the gates will close, and then a new bunch of wave, a new wave of enemies will spawn, which is why I waited there until uh, it was safe for Dimitri to go across the line. That's like the the trigger point. There's another trigger point past that door where Pegasus Knights will spawn if I stop in front of that. Uh, I I don't think I'll be okay, I need to heal, yeah. Because uh, those Knights will easily hit Dimitri. Oh, uh, that's not good. Stay focused. They must have both hit uh, Yas Queen. Uh, well, I think one critted maybe that could, could potentially happen. I'll cut through. I'm at my limit. But yeah, Dimitri has like no strength, so I'm gonna try and get him to get extra strength on this level up. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically chapter four. Can't go horribly wrong, but it, it did not. For the most part. Now for that one, did you have to get both of them to escape or would yes, you have been Yeah, you had to get you had to get everyone there if ah. like so everyone there, yeah. So that's also another reason why we want just a few units as possible. That makes sense. Yeah. So you only had to get Two instead of um, the maximum that can be deployed, which I think is ten usually. Yeah. So after what hap what happens in chapter four, um, we basically got the um, I think we got the chalice or something like that. Something we got like a treasure, which is a chalice, and that's kind of a big deal. 
Uh, we met a guy earlier who's technically the uh, the leader. Well, he's not the leader, but he's like the teacher of the Ashen Wolf's house, which is uh, Alfric. And he kind of reveals that he's had like um. Yeah, he had like a thing for our mother a long time ago. So I'm sure that's not going to come up. No, of course not. <laughs> no. <laughs> so once again, we had the, the doors that block us. And then Yuri asks us randomly on a date. Uh, it doesn't matter what gender you are, he does just ask you on a date anyway. Uh, he is canonically bi, which is also... Yeah. <laughs> so it also makes sense as well. So chapter 5 is where... Um, Alfred gets in a bit of trouble, and we got to kind of help him against all these bandits. Uh, so the Ashen Wolves, or the, the members of the Ashen Wolves house, they, they've been put in Abyss because they've been, like, branded as, like, criminals or, um, yeah. Criminals where they've done, like, pretty unsavory things. So, and one of their abilities is going to come into play. Uh, she won't be on this map, ironically, but, um... The reason why Happy is part of the Ashen Wolves is because she has an ability to summon monsters whenever she sighs. And that's going to come into play when I defeat this unit in the top corner here. So Yuri goes like, initiate the plan now, and then like, Happy sighs, and then uh, all these monsters have spawned. And they're technically uh, on our side, but they're not, if that makes sense. They're yellow units, so they're like another faction. So unfortunately I didn't get the strength level up earlier, and that means I can't one-shot that um, monster over there. We do have to defeat that monster in order to complete that map, in this map. This is another route mission. So yeah, unfortunately Balthus didn't get the strength level up earlier. He did get it now, but it's a bit too late. Oh, that's not the unit I wanted to heal. So there's a thing called Divine Pole, so if I make a mistake, or if I get unlucky, like yeah. right now, <laughs> I'll cut through. I can use someone else's movement and then uh, re uh, change what happens here. So before I miss the um, battalion, but now I hit it, so now everything's uh, hunky-dory over there. It does waste time though, overall, but... It's good that you can uh, reverse your bad luck. Now, Constance here actually makes this map way more consistent because there's a lot of Axe units here and Dimitri is, happens to be weak against them. So this um, campaign actually goes pretty hard into the Weapon Triangle. Now, you can take those abilities off, but... Uh, they're more useful to have on. Because you can like avoid like sword units or any sort of threats that um Oh, this is Oh, did I like it? I did, okay. <laughs> That's uh not good. Uh yeah, I did need to move you down there. I think Dimitri will be okay, because that's uh, a bit of an awkward position to be in. Uh, yeah, Constance is expected to go down there. Use caution. Might want to heal Dimitri. So, will the monsters or the yellow enemies not attack unless provoked, or are they just attacking everybody? Oh, they're attacking everyone. I also just realized I got the wrong weapon out, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, yeah, this map hasn't gone particularly great, but I can deal with 
things. The perks of marathon luck. Yeah, like Dimitri's not getting enough strength to deal with things. Like he should be at like close to well closer to forty. Uh I should just actually wait here because there's too many solo. Such That's uh, chapter five. That went. Uh, ideally, want to finish in five turns, but yeah. So this whole thing was a trap, and uh, Yuri was actually in on it. So he ends up stealing the chalice from us, and now, like he's <laughs> now he's participating in Alfred's plan to uh, revive. Our mother, who um, died a long time ago, who died during, who died uh, when we were born, basically during childbirth. So, yeah, um, Alfred really couldn't get over the fact that, yeah, she died, and and then and, and then um, Yuri ends up getting duped by Alfred because he finds out that. Because of their uh, crest bloodlines, they just happen to have the bloodlines of the exact people that he needs to revive uh, Citri. So, the ritual, which is our mother, uh, so the ritual goes ahead, and uh, the map's gimmick right now is currently the Ashen Wolves are losing their HP slowly and over, over, over the turns. And we have to step on these. Um, uh, portals that are like near them that are not and only people that are not the Ashen Wolves that can step on them not not the Ashen Wolves that that would make any sense but yeah <laughs> yeah we got step on the portals to prevent the um, Ashen Wolves from dying basically now for those not potentially familiar with the the three houses game when you hear Ashen Wolves that's not the one of the houses that you normally think of in the normal three like is this yes, a yes. dlc is it a hidden quest line like yes, what so is this, this is the dlc campaign as i uh, mentioned earlier uh and w about the and they, they're basically like introduced as the secret house but yeah so these kids have been basically been uh put underground and have to like serve abyss and um hopefully um become good again even though their crimes are not really you know that criminal they're not really especially in happy's case where she she just sighs and summons a bunch of monsters it's just what she was born with really gotcha. oh right i can't hmm i forgot i had no strength <laughs> i'll cut through that is uh, not ideal. I need to move a bit closer. But yeah. So, so this is just a short DLC campaign, which I was hoping was going to be. So this is more in line of what I thought the Silver Snow route would be, which is another Free Houses main game route where um, you don't have your House Lords in that route, and instead you only have. Uh, Barleth and um and the church with you and i thought that would be more this will be uh, so i thought this storyline would be more in line with you know finding about finding more at more about Barleth. anyway we just got a flashback about alfred when he's love for um our mother which is um yeah <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we did need that. We know he's evil. Like for those of you just tuning in. <laughs> yeah, because this is like the final map of the campaign because the <laughs> the ritual has gone like horribly wrong because the Ashen Wolves have survived. And oh wow, we need to punch Bedillions here. That's kinda bad. <laughs> but you yeah, know, we just need to swap. Oh, go on. Sorry. Oh, no, what were you gonna say? If Dimitri just would have gotten a little bit more strength, this would have been just fine. A little bit, yeah. Uh, and then here... Need to smell, and then... 
Oh, I didn't eat. Well, whatever. That I don't have enough uses anyway. <laughs> so this is uh, the abomination our mother has turned into, and I got lucky here, so I can. I have a clear passage to go right in in there and get rid of all the shielding around the monster. And now we just all the battle charge the rest of the pie. I'm not kidding. Like this is like the easiest chapter out of all the all the chapters. Uh the reason why male Barleth is faster is because you have a situational chance where Hilda can get stronger. And right now Hilda is next to Barleth, so if she remains next to Barleth, uh she will get... Wow, everyone's dying. <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Uh, I don't think Dimitri can reach. This is not particularly great, but... Yeah. I don't have, yeah, I don't have him alive, I don't. Yeah, so those Afric uh, clones, they basically, basically can revive, sorry, not revive, heal the boss up. So that's why you want to take him out. Careful. This is so awkward though, because I've rarely been in a situation like this and the boss has so much HP left. <laughs> Probably need to take this coin out. I'm at my limit. Please. <laughs> I'm about to do something with Hilda here. <laughs> oh, that's why the boss has vantage. Can I do anything here? I need to go back a turn. This is not great. Oh, um. I'm at my limit. Careful. Like the boss is so close to being dead, but I I can't I do much. <laughs> oh, this is because the boss has vantage because it's on low HP. So does it give it like extra perks or damage or something? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's the problem. Is it's got vantage, which means it'll go first. So I think the best thing I can do is maybe even heal. I'm at my limit. That might be the best thing I can do. Where'd the boss go up there? Uh, and yeah, the boss moves lots, so... Oh, is it down? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was a mess! And time! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, if, if time is time, if it's a mess, or if it's perfect! <laughs> I know, it's still on the rest of it anyway. <laughs> Well <laughs> Thank you, Raya. But yeah, <laughs> basically the end of the story after um you defeat the monster that was Sutri is um uh Raya reveals that um she didn't want Sutri to be buried 
So it said she was buried in the cathedral, which turns out to be a terrible idea. It would prevent everything from happening in this campaign. <laughs> so, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Rhea. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's um the Ashen Wolves or the Cinder Shadows campaign. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun run. A little bit of a mess, but... Yeah, definitely a fun little uh, free houses category to do. Uh, it is the DLC campaign, so you do have to fork over a bit of extra money to get it. But you can use, so after you finish the campaign, uh, this DLC campaign, you can use the Ash of Wolves in the main campaign. And get other DLC perks as well. So, and yeah, it, it's a pretty fun campaign where you got like limited, uh, I guess limited stuff and it does challenge you in some ways. <laughs> But yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed it, and um, yeah, um, I do run different RPGs, uh, this included, as as well as the other um, house routes, uh, except Silver Snow, because we all know that Silver Snow sucks. <laughs> Not biased, but... <laughs> but yeah. where, where can they see you run these other houses that are not uh, um, the one that we don't talk about? <laughs> Yeah, so you can uh, watch me on uh, Alfredo on Twitch, so yeah. And also I have a Twitter and Blue Sky account, um, although I haven't really set up the Blue Sky account yet, but um, I should work on that. <laughs> It'll get done eventually. But yes, everyone yeah. give GG's one more time to Alfredo, that was a pretty awesome run. Yeah, um, so thanks for having me. Thanks for running for us. Love to have you. Uh, but we are going to get ready for our final run of today, which is going to be some Final Fantasy XIV. So sit tight.